Hello, friends. On Super Bowl Sunday this year, around 10.30 p.m., my internet decided to cut out for whatever reason, so I only had either basic cable or waiting for my phone to run on LTE. I chose to flip around the channels a bit, and not quite 15 minutes into the internet blackout, I ran across an ad for a product called the Trumpy Bear. I cannot begin to describe my initial reaction to this other than a strong feeling of disbelief and confusion. Is this a joke? Did I land on some strange parody ad? I mean, look at this thing. It looks ridiculous and doesn't even make sense. Who the hell ever referred to Trump as a bear? Does he hunt bears? Does this guy think he's Teddy Roosevelt all of a sudden? Why in the hell does he have an American flag cape? Who the fuck is this product for? After my first reaction, the joke quickly exposed itself at the $45 price tag for a dumbass stuffed animal with the president's hair and a flag cape that doubles as a blanket. What the actual fuck, Texas? Yeah, I'm named Check of Dallas, Texas, since that's where this thing is coming from according to the website. This product is being pushed by a company called Exceptional Products Incorporated known for other things such as the wrap snap and go which looks like interlocking hair colors but wait there's more they also offer the hair dini 2 that's right throw away your shitty original hair dini for the hair dini 2 why because they want to sell these damn hair dinis why else but wait again there's even more shit there's also the save a blade which is supposed to sharpen your shaving razor's blades and save you so much money you'll be rich like trumpy bear in no time at least you'll have a nice sharp razor to slit your stupid throat with for wasting your money on this thing that nobody ever owns or wants but wait there's yet another piece of shit product you've never wanted left there's the plaque attack spray for your dog and its awful turd breath made from human grade ingredients which sounds ominously like this crap is full of soylent green it's supposed to interact with your dog's saliva to break up plaque and tartar so the other dogs will be jealous or is it supposed to make you feel better for when you will make out with your dog like a lonely weirdo you are but let us not forget about the trumpy bear this product according to the ad is marketed towards the elderly and war veterans and bikers i didn't see this garbage being pushed on anyone under the age of 30 who you'd think would be the ideal demographic for a teddy bear with a stupid haircut i think that is partially why they added the american flag cape slash blanket so old people could hug something that would want to keep them warm in those lonely old folks homes instead of the cold isolation of you never coming to visit them you are much too busy with your hair dini and wrap snap and go and save a blade while spraying your dog in the mouth with this dog banaka to visit your older relatives the Trumpy Bear is something so stupid it can only exist in America and be taken seriously as a real sign of your support for a president who has yet to accomplish anything for the benefit of the mass public. Not quite sure he deserves some unlicensed bear. They should have started with toilet paper and worked their way up to the bear. At least most people can get some use out of toilet paper. Who the hell is still buying teddy bears? I encourage you to visit the YouTube video promoting this product. I put the link in the description for your enjoyment and douche chills. It's not too cringy, but it's certainly worth a look just to see how weird and real this thing is. Of all the dumbass challenges going around like the Tide Pod Challenge and the Hot Coil Challenge, the Trumpy Bear Ad Challenge could be the new trend and or meme for tomorrow. Just remember who clued you in ahead of the curve. You heard it on the internet, so it has to be true.